everyone welcome back i hope everyone is doing great in this video tutorial we are going to see how to download water body data so now just type in earth explorer usgs and you can see the first link click on this link you can find this web link in the description section i'll be sharing it so you can see there is a login option click on login login is essential to download any sort of data from this website so if you don't if you have, don't have an account you can click on here and create an account within 2 minutes and if you have the if you have already created it please uh, put in your username and password so now let us sign in so the next step is the selection of your area so you can use the space map to set, uh, zoom in and find your location otherwise you can use if you are there in US and looking for the data in US you can use US phases otherwise switch to world features now here you can uh, search based on your locationing so I am going to use the space map to navigate to my area of interest so I am going to choose my area of interest my area of interest lies over here this region so I am going to click on this region so automatically a place mark icon will be appearing at the top you can find it we have selected the region if you want to select a wide area you can place more uh, place marks like this and draw like this to get the data for a larger region now we are going to select the data sets so switch on to data sets and here come down you can find digital elevation and under that you can find SRTM now in SRTM you can find SRTM water body data so select this data and finally click on results so now you can see that I have got four results you can use this uh, show footprint to find the region area of interest so you can see these are in four grids for this uh, area of interest there are four grids are available each grid contains data sets so we are going to choose the grid accordingly and download it okay so let us choose I don't require this so I have removed this one this is required and finally this one so okay so in this case I required for three I required three tiles so I am going to download this three tiles alone so now you can find the download option click on download you can download it by clicking download so let me download it save and we also download the other data sets second time download see the third time once the download has been completed you can see these three files which we have downloaded let us see it in QGIS so after coming to the QGIS interface now let us add the data sets add layer add vector layer use this button to navigate to the desired folder where you have sa saved this data set now let me click open and add it so you can see the data set how it is these are the water set water body data set and you can see that some question mark is been showing up over here so the projection has been not been set properly so go on go on to the option properties and here you can find source so click on source so you can see here invalid projection so here I am going to set it to WGS 1984 geographic coordinate system click on apply ok repeat the same thing for this two layers also and now you can see the data you can also change the symbology of this data so go to symbology here you can choose the color so like this you can set symbology for the other layers also like this you can change it repeat the same thing for this layer also now 
now you can see how it looks like you can export it as a layer if your editing work has been done so right click on this layer and you can find export so here you can save it as a separate file click on just save feature you can choose this option to save it to a particular location while using browse option so after going to the desired folder you can just give a name reverse or water body anything so click on ok like this you can export the data if you want to edit edit this data set you can do it for example let me turn on a single layer and in order to edit it you can use the option editor so basically you can see that this data cannot be edited once you have exported it you can edit the data set so once we have exported the data you can see the toggle editing is been enabled now you can choose the data which you needed uh, you can select it if you don't want this data you can delete it also you can delete this uh, feature at the top you can find this option delete so like this you can edit the data which you need which you don't want you can uh, delete it after our editing you can just save your edits and stop editing so I hope that this uh, video will be helpful for downloading the water body data sets. Thanks for watching. If you have any other comments with this, please do post your comments and please do subscribe. Goodbye.